Excellent. AC off. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome to Paul's Hardware. Today's video is going to be uh, quite a bit different, I think, than my normal videos. I have a project that is different than my normal computer building projects, and I really want your feedback on it. I need suggestions and ideas. But before I get into any of that, uh, today, or at least the day this video is going up, is July 12th, and it is the Net Neutrality Day of Action. So I really quickly wanted to mention uh, that that's going on. If you use the internet at all, you've probably seen some of the action because there's tons of uh, popular companies on the internet who do lots of business on the internet, including like Google and Amazon and Netflix, who are all participating in this. The idea is to get more awareness out uh, for the current FCC Notice of Proposed Rulemaking, which might change the way the internet service providers are classified uh, when it comes to the FCC and how they're regulated. Basically, that means that your internet service provider, whether that be Comcast or Time Warner or Verizon or any of the other big ISPs out there, or the small ones too, have to treat the data as the same, whether it's coming from point A or point B or point C on the internet. They can't throttle or change anything like that. Now, most of the people who I talk to online and in real life are okay with net neutrality. They think it's a good thing, they think the rule should stay as there is, and there shouldn't be any change. So they're against the current notice of proposed rulemaking by the FCC. So if you want to let your voice be heard, there's links in the comments where you can read up a little bit more on the subject, as well as a direct link to the FCC where you can post a comment and uh, let your voice be known. So uh, please feel free to do that, and your support is greatly appreciated. Let's get back to the real subject of this video, though, and I gotta start off by presenting you with the problem that I am attempting to overcome, as any good narrator should, or narrative should begin with. Uh, the problem is kind of, well, it's not with this. This is my garage, and this is everything that's in my garage, from the not-so-pretty-looking area over here, to the slightly more pretty looking to the, uh, not like, you know, incredibly well organized, but at least fairly well put together so I can shoot videos and everything. Now, uh, last week or like a week and a half ago, I posted a video where I did a bunch of cleaning and stuff out here. Uh, I've managed to keep it mostly clean. Here is the Arctic Panther station where Arctic Panther is waiting for the upgrades that are slowly starting to trickle in. I'll be working on that again very soon. But, um, okay, I'm, I'm getting distracted already. So. Over here is where I can sit. I have a few systems set up. I can do work. I can set up test beds, all that good stuff. Pretty functional. Uh, over here is my table, which I built in a pre previous garage work log. Now, I actually have sort of a love-hate relationship with my garage work logs, but I'll say it's mostly love. Uh, they don't get like a huge amount of views as my videos go. They're, they're not like the, the greatest performers, but there's a ton of people who seem to really like them. So I have a, a niche audience who's like, all about the garage work logs, and I kind of want to do a little bit more in there. So the reason I bring that up is because this table here was built in a, in a former garage work log, as well as my sort of framework that I have up here, which needs to be kill managed and everything. And uh, I want to do them a little bit more, but my dilemma is that it, when it comes to building stuff, like especially working with wood, my garage is actually not the best environment for that. So moving on to my, from my video production side, uh, this is like storage, and that is my workbench, and this is where I did a bunch of additional storage on the wall in a former garage work log, which all turned out quite well and is working quite well, um, but I'd like to expand that. So further on over there, you have kind of like random storage, overflow stuff. That's where things pile up and it can get pretty bad. Now if you look directly at my storage or my workbench area over here, um, you'll probably notice it's, it's sort of an outsized ratio of like PC parts to actual tools and stuff like that, um, and that, that's not really going to change. I have no expectation that there's going to be fewer PC parts at all, but um, it does sort of cut off my access at times to some of the uh, hardware that I've managed to accumulate, at least tool hardware, um, as, as I am a man and I tend to look at places like Slick Deals and then they have deals on stuff. So the most recent thing that I got was a, a compound miter saw, which I actually got a couple months ago. And that's what actually kicked off this whole idea of like, hey, I need to, I need to come up with a little bit better solution for this if I'm actually gonna use any of these uh, power tools that I have. But just to so show you kind of what I, what I have to start off with, uh, I've got a circular saw up there. This is a router. This is an orbital sander. And then that is a jigsaw. I have uh, my set of Makita drills right here. I um, actually really like those, those do a great job. This is my old Black & Decker drill, which uh, isn't really in service anymore. This is a mess. Up here I've got my Makita Sawzall, which I cleverly hid from Luke and Linus so that they couldn't use it during Scrapyard Wars. 
Over here, of course, is the uh, laundry area. You know, not, not much to be done there. I can't really do much about that. And then over here is like more generic garage storage, you know, like large bulk items from Costco or on that shelf. And I have, I have gardening equipment over in this corner, sort of. <laughs> but uh, as I learned in a previous garage, local oh, oh, and then of course, this is where the dog storage goes down here. There's Hero, making sure, making sure that his bed doesn't float away. Now, in a previous garage work log, actually quite a while ago, I learned actually building this table that uh, doing woodwork with like circular saws and stuff in the garage is a bad idea. At that point, I had uh, a test bed from Newegg that was over here in the corner, and it started kicking out a bunch of sawdust and everything. It was a bad, it was a bad thing. So uh, I have an idea for solving that problem and it involves setting up something uh, outside. And now here we are in my backyard where I actually want to work on this project. Now, um, I don't know if you guys watched my, my shittiest video ever, but um, my backyard I also have, I guess, a love-hate relationship with because most of the time there's just nothing growing out here. And actually my wife and I just spent a ton of time weeding everything out here. There were horrible weeds. We're in Southern California in a desert area and there's really, really bad weeds that grow out here. So um, we like, we got rid of all those and it's actually way, way better than it was before, although it is pretty much just dirt and, and whatnot. But um, I'd like to start building a garden actually over here, potentially even something like a greenhouse, but that's further down the line. For now, uh, this is the back door to my garage, and this is the area where I built uh, the gate on the side of the house over here. Did a video on that too, if you guys are interested. I don't think I actually classified that as a garage work log because I wasn't working in my garage, but oh look, here comes Nori. But here's the last piece of hardware that I already mentioned that I got, which is my Ryobi 10 inch sliding compound miter saw, which is still in the box because I have nowhere to put it, at least nowhere in the garage. Now out here I have random tools, Equipment. It's just sitting on the side of the house. This is bad. It's not a good way to be storing stuff But you'll notice I have some pavement here and I have a bit of space So here's my idea and here's where I need your feedback I would like to create an outdoor workbench along this wall potentially partially along that wall, too But that's the basic idea something that has the miter saw on top of it So I can actually do wood cutting out here uh, it needs to be protected, so I'm going to need to do something with the roof up here. I might need to extend this somehow, create some sort of overhang. I could do it ghetto style and just get like an easy up or something and put it up here as well. So that's an option, but uh, I also need to be somewhat concerned with the window over here because that gets light, you know, in the afternoon and, and during the day, and I don't want to completely cover that and block it from above. So I might be doing something sort of hybrid with a, a covering coming out here but then also something that has like a skylight or something so that light can still get in there, maybe a, a trellis up on top or something like that. And I, for the most part, have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I mean, I, I have some basic knowledge when it comes to woodworking and that kind of thing, but uh, functionally, I, you know, I'm really kind of just figuring stuff out as I go, which I'm cool with. I like the at-home DIY stuff and figuring all that out. But um, if you guys have any experience in this area, and want to give me feedback or ideas or suggestions, I'm gonna be checking back in the comments section uh, today and then I'll come back in another day or two as well and look through that and see if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations for what I wanna do out here. In the very short t term, of course, I need to clear this wood pile out. There's nothing very exciting going on right there. And then I think I will start to do at least a smallish, uh, maybe mobile, maybe something on wheels that can roll, but just a little workbench or something that has a uh, flip top that I can put over the top to protect it from the weather that at least gets this miter saw up and running. Think of all the things that I could miter with my miter saw. All right, I just spent like three minutes outside and I am drenched with sweat, but uh, it's summer here in case you guys weren't aware of that. It's getting pretty warm these days. But guys, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for this video. Just to summarize, I am looking for your feedback in the comments section down below. Uh, one, what do you think of me expanding Paul's hardware to not just talk about PC hardware, but occasionally, not all the time, but maybe once a month, once every couple months, doing a video that's more dedicated to hardware that you use to build stuff, home improvement type things. Uh, I would try my best to include technology in that where possible as well. There's some home automation things that I think I could get into. Uh, two would be, if you're not into that stuff, would you hate it if I still did that every so often? Or do you think I should just stick completely to the computer stuff since that's kind of what my channel is built on? 
And then third, uh, what do you think I should do outside here as far as solutions for creating some sort of covering, creating an outdoor workbench area that will be protected from the weather to some extent, protecting the tools that might be stored out there. All of those things are questions that I don't quite have the answers to as of yet. But uh, once I do start working on that, I will, as long as you guys want to see it, include some coverage of that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll be back later this week with continued coverage on my other ongoing projects, uh, Arctic Panther, as well as the uh, HTPC that I'm building out there, waiting on a few parts to arrive for those things, but I'll have more stuff on those soon. Thank you guys again for watching. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out, and we'll see you next time.